Jason Aldean is one of the biggest stars in country music today. And if you can believe it, Jason Aldean has been in the game now for over 20 years, which puts Aldean as a 90s country artist. That's right, Aldean was in fact a 90s country artist. But that is not the only wild part of his long and illustrious career. Stick with us as we take a deep dive into one of country music's most beloved and successful artists. It's a journey that has had its fair share of bumps and bruises along the way, but without question, Aldean has managed to brush them off and remain in the spotlight of country music for all these years. So let's go ahead and get things started by jumping back to Jason's early days. Jason Aldean Williams was born in Macon, Georgia on February 28, 1977. At the young age of just three years old, Jason's parents separated, where Aldean spent his time going back and forth between Macon, Georgia with his mother, Debbie, and Homestead, Florida with his father, Barry. Both of Jason's parents were a huge part of his musical success, but his father really focused on Jason perfecting his craft on the guitar. Prior to leaving for work, Aldine's dad would draw out guitar chords on notebook paper, displaying where his finger placement should be on the guitar neck to create a chord. And while his dad was out to work all day, Jason would practice for hours on end. And the two even continued to play together once his father had returned home from work. The dedicated and persistent character of Jason has been with him since such a young age. And while learning the guitar, this is where Jason Aldean fell in love with country music. Some of the artists and bands that inspired Aldean were acts like his favorite band, Alabama, the king of country music, George Strait, and Mr. Bocephus himself, Hank Williams Jr., at the age of 14 is when he got his spark to perform on stage in front of live audiences. From playing in talent shows to local fairs, Jason knew that this is exactly what he wanted to do. But trying to make music a career made Jason's road become tiresome and a little bit rocky. After high school is when Aldine really began to pound the pavement. He decided to put baseball, which he loved, and college on the back burner and put his music career first. Skipping out on the athletic scholarships for baseball, he and his band at the time, Jason Aldean and the Young Guns, traveled around the southeast with his dad as their booking agent, where they played several clubs and festivals. Throughout their time on the road, Jason Aldean and his good buddy Justin Weaver who was a member of Jason's band at the time, began writing original songs. Which, if any of you know anything about Justin Weaver, you know that he is a great songwriter to have in your corner as he is one of the heavy hitters in songwriting still today. Justin Weaver has even wrote songs for Kip Moore and Brantley Gilbert. He has quite the pedigree. So needless to say, it was a good thing for Al Dean to have Weaver by his side while starting out. He also had a gentleman by his side by the name of Kurt Powers, who is simply a powerhouse as well. Now, before we move on, I want to pause here for a minute, because it brings us to a point that is a very critical one in Al Dean's career, and many may have no clue that this even exists. And jump back for just a second to the comment that I made earlier in this video. Jason Al Dean being a 90s country artist. Remember that? Well, two of the original songs from Aldine's early days can still be found pretty easily, and I have attached the links to those songs in the description of this video for their full version. But in just a moment, I am going to share a snippet of each of these songs. So what's the deal with them? Well, the deal is the songs are known as Cowboy Lady and What She Don't Know. They were released back in 1996, and they are 90s country jams just with an Aldine take. Now, once you hear them, you will feel exactly what I'm talking about. Cowboy Lady and What She Don't Know appeared on Jason Aldine's first ever album. That album had eight songs. Obviously, Cowboy Lady and What She Don't Know, but the other six songs were Cowboy Up, In Spite of Myself, The Difference, The Young and the Restless, Love Ain't Worth the Trouble, and Homegrown Hillbilly Girlfriend. 
The album was released, but never to the masses, and it is almost impossible to get your hands on a copy. So, with that, here is the sound of Jason Aldean's take on 90s country. First up, Cowboy Lady. Well, my baby, she's my beauty queen. Now we take a look at what she don't know. What she don't know is killing me. Jason Aldean's take on 90s country was pretty damn good. And the story continues because eventually folks would start to notice just how good he was. The band continued on their journey on the road. And on one night, they landed a gig at a nightclub in Atlanta, Georgia, known as the Buckboard. And it turned out to be the gig that would change everything for Jason. On that particular night, Jason Aldean met a man by the name of Michael Knox. At the time, Michael Knox was an executive at Warner Chappelle Music, a music publishing company and a subsidiary of Warner Music Group. So pretty big deal at the time. After the two met, Jason signed a deal with Warner Chappelle and then moved to Nashville, Tennessee on November 1st of 1998 at the age of just 21 years old. Initially, this signing sounded very promising. However, it backfired and Aldean found his career at a standstill stuck in Nashville after being dropped from Warner Chappelle Music. Shortly after his first deal fell through, Aldean subsequently signed with Capitol Records Nashville, only to be dropped yet again. Time started ticking away for Jason in Nashville. He contemplated moving back to Georgia. However, he was given another shot from Broken Bow Records, where he inked a deal and found himself a home. After providing them a copy of his self-titled debut album that featured his first ever single, Hick Town. In the year of 2005, his self-titled debut album hit the shelves, and well, we all know from that moment, Jason has never looked back. His backup plan of being a Pepsi delivery driver could finally be put in the rear view. Now, clearly his decision to stick with country music has paid off. In 2005, Jason Aldean won the ACM Award for Top New Male Vocalist when he broke into the scene. In 2011, he took home the American Country Award for Artist of the Year. He followed that up by winning the Male Vocalist of the Year from the American Country Awards in 2012 and the ACM version of that award in 2014 and in 2015. Not to mention that he has also taken home one of the most prized awards from the ACMs three times and it was all in succession. Jason has won Entertainer of the Year three times, 2016, 2017, and 2018. Now, of course, he has won several other awards. The list just goes on and on. But also, I want to take a minute to recognize that he has also been nominated for Grammy Awards, and he has also produced several platinum records. His list of accolades, again, could go on and on, and Jason Aldean is such a bright spot in country music, as he has been here for many years, and he has proven time, time, and again just how much fans really love him, how great of an artist he is recording, how great of an artist he is on stage. Jason Aldean has made a stamp in country music with his name on it that will live on forever. And again, without question, as I've just said, he is a household name in country music. But even after... Achieving all this success, as we just looked at, Aldine has ran into his fair share of hard times along the way. First, we remember the controversy surrounding his divorce from his first wife, Jessica. Back in September of 2012, TMZ reported that Jason Aldine was caught getting intimate and kissing with past American Idol season 11 contestant, Brittany Kerr. TMZ had obtained photos of the two together at a bar known as The Den, located on the Sunset Strip in Hollywood, California. At the time when this story surfaced, Jason Aldean was still married to his high school sweetheart Jessica, and he was the father to two children, Keely and Kendall. Needless to say, after this scandal broke loose, Jason and his wife Jessica divorced one another in the year of 2013. Aldean provided an apology to his Facebook page shortly after the incident. According to Us Weekly, Jason's apology post read, The truth is that I screwed up. I had too much to drink. 
let the party get out of hand, and acted inappropriately at a bar. I left alone, caught the bus to our next show, and that's the end of the story. I ultimately ended up embarrassing my family and myself. I'm not perfect, and I'm sorry for disappointing you guys. I really appreciate being able to work through this privately with my family and for all your continued support. Now, this story continued to produce many headlines and followed Jason for quite the long period of time to where Aldine spoke out against this so-called never-ending story in his mind. He told Billboard in 2014, It has been two years of this shit. Get over it already. And then when I finally do get enough of it and say something, every newspaper grabs it. And I'm not trying to get in the headlines. I'm just trying to get people to stop running their mouths. Ultimately, Jason Aldean ended up marrying Brittany Kerr on March 21st of 2015. And they are still married today with two beautiful children of their own, Memphis and Navy Rome. Mistakes happen and Aldean has bounced back. And it's not really a period of time that Aldean obviously is proud about. He recognizes that uh, what happened was not the best thing to happen as it was an embarrassing moment for not only himself but his family. But he has moved on past that. We've all moved on past that. Jason and Brittany look like they have a ton of fun together. They're always posting online and uh, they have such a beautiful family and they get along great and she is a great rock to have by his side out on the road doing what he loves to do. Now, next up for us is something that we're going to talk about that happened only two years after Jason Aldean settled into his new marriage. Jason Aldean and the city of Las Vegas met tragedy on October 1st of 2017. On that particular night, Jason Aldean was the headliner at the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival closing out the show. When a gunman opened fire from across the street inside of the Mandalay Bay Hotel, 60 country music fans lost their lives as a result of the shooting, and 411 more fans were wounded by the gunfire. After the incident, Aldine remained in contact with the injured and visited them in the hospital. Therapy was also a huge part of Aldine's life after the shooting. Route 91 will live in our hearts forever and will never, we will never forget the many who lost their lives on that tragic night. Jason Aldean remains as one of the top recording artists in country music and one of the most fierce headliners to see live. Through his years of success, trials and tribulations, he has continued to perfect his craft and continuously produce hit after hit, as we have seen with the many albums that he has released I can't even imagine sitting here going song by song because it would take an eternity to talk about how great each and every one of them are in their own way. Jason Aldean also makes it a point to continue to be an avid supporter for breast cancer awareness and research. He has donated millions of dollars from his ticket sales, merch, and VIP packages to support a cause that he truly believes in. From owning a hunting company known as Buck Commander to loving the Georgia Bulldogs and bringing hard-hitting country, Jason is right where he should be, in the pocket of country music, sitting at the top of the best genre in music. Remember to be sure to check out Jason Aldean's new project that's set for release on April 22nd of 2022. It's going to be a double album. He titled it Making Paying Homage to His Hometown. I believe in this record that you will see a side of Jason in his music that we have not seen yet. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening about Jason Aldean. He is simply one of the best to do it. Let us know down below what your favorite Aldean record or song is. We'd love to know. But that will be it for today's video. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you are new here to CountryCast. Turn those notifications on as well so you never miss out on any breaking updates surrounding your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.